winners of the gold medal and Olympic champions, the team from Great Britain, Martin Cross. Certainly. All of us are going to learn something about what it takes to make a successful unit, a successful team perform. And I'll tell you what, these guys could have come here and given a talk on what it took to make a team perform. No trouble at all a year ago. With their record, nothing. But I'll tell you what, after the year they went through, the experience that they can now give is so much richer because of what happened. And so we're going to get that experience. And the third thing we're going to get is something to take away. Because the energy we get from today, the experience, will help us rekindle, find something in ourselves that we can all face challenges with. And, and that's really going to be the energising part of today. When you get into rowing, you meet very, very committed, motivated people. And that's what I'm going to talk about today. All of these support networks are designed to allow the sharp end to perform. It's all about performance. They're designed to allow the individual and the individual as part of the crew to maximise their performance. Otherwise, what's the point? That's what the support network is there for. And I think the third thing that I'm going to say is that um, in the sport we have amazing role model people. People like you, people like me. I really struggled to be an Olympic champion because when I won in 84, I thought, well, I'm not a proper Olympic champion. Um, maybe Stephen is, because he's just like amazing. Maybe Seb Coe and Obeth, who were around at the time, they're proper Olympic champions, not, not me. And then what I came to learn is that Olympic champions are actually ordinary people. They're ordinary people who can do extraordinary things. And as we all know, we all have the capability of doing extraordinary things. And some of you, in terms of your continuous improvement, will ask yourselves and your staff to do extraordinary things above the call of duty. We all know times in life where we don't feel confident about things and maybe we don't try things, and that could be in sport, music, drama, maybe in relationships, you know, adults watching with their jobs and so on. And I think being able to discover the way to unlock that self-belief which I believe is inside everybody, which is part of the message we're trying to put across, is, is, is a really powerful tool. How do you get to your self-belief? How do you unlock that? How do you build your confidence up to help you do more things in life that you want to? I'm amazed by, by what they're able to do and cope with. It's very uh, motivational to coach someone like that. Three, two, one, go. It's just inspiring uh, to have someone you know, like him as a coach. And if we're going to win the boat race, uh, it will be for him. He is one of nature's coaches. All interesting leaders have that faraway look in their eyes. Martin looks to distant peaks uh, as well as concentrates on the nitty-gritty. Now I just want to come and live down by the river. Possibly with Martin Cross, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, in what at first I thought was this kind of rather wishy-washy, touchy-feely kind of new age approach to coaching, which I kind of am a little bit sceptical about. Um, but actually it's turned out to be really effective. In order to learn how to cope with nerves, we have to get nervous and feel nervous. There's nothing wrong with fear. What's interesting is how we deal with it. Martin, you know what you've done for us. You're absolutely fantastic. And uh, from the bottom of all of our very sore muscles, we thank you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.